Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage out of a knapsack. Those studies considered the climbing temperature. Those studies the climbing temperature. Those studies considered the climbing. Those studies. Those studies considered the climbing temperature. Those studies considered the climbing temperature. What am I gonna do for dinner? What am I gonna do for? What am I gonna do for dinner? What am I gonna do for dinner? Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. I am upset. Those studies considered the climate temperature. 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 Yesterday I saw a bald eagle. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle eating garbage. Those studies considered the climate temperature. 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 Ladies and gentlefish, boys and ghouls, get it? It's a joke. It's a pun. There are a few things in this world that can be explained with absolute certainty, and the brain is among the unaccountable. Consider this: a train departs from a station at three o'clock. It's traveling thirty miles per hour towards Dallas, which is about a hundred miles away. There's a man with a mustache and a monocle at the Monopoly game, and he's clinging to a lockbox, which he's zip tied to his wrist. How did he get through security, I wonder? That sucks. Somewhere across the country, a comically tall man slips on some loose napkins somewhere half hazard left on the floor of a burger king to soak up cruise. So basically, I guess the moral of the story is shut the f up! This is the first hour.